de Havilland Comet, world's first commercial jetliner. The de Havilland Comet, the world's first commercial jet airliner, represents a landmark moment in aviation history. Introduced in the 1950s, the Comet was not only a technological marvel of its time but also a precursor to the modern era of air travel. While its early development faced setbacks, including a series of tragic crashes, the Comet's legacy ultimately paved the way for the evolution of passenger jets, transforming the global aviation industry. The early post-World War II era marked a time of rapid technological advancement and innovation, particularly in the field of aviation. In 1943, the British aircraft manufacturer de Havilland set its sights on the future of civil aviation by creating the Comet, an ambitious project that sought to revolutionize air travel. The vision was to develop a commercial airliner that was faster, more efficient, and more comfortable than its predecessors, which were still largely piston-engine propeller-driven aircraft. The de Havilland Comet 1 made its maiden flight on July 27, 1949, and it quickly became a symbol of modernity. Powered by four Rolls-Royce Avon turbojet engines, the Comet was capable of cruising speeds of up to 500 miles per hour, significantly faster than the propeller-driven aircraft of the era. Moreover, its pressurized cabin allowed it to fly at altitudes above the weather, ensuring smoother and more efficient flights. The Comet was also notable for its streamlined design, which emphasized aesthetics while improving aerodynamic performance. The Comet's promise was realized when it entered commercial service with British Overseas Airways Corporation in 1952, becoming the world's first commercial jet airliner. Its ability to reduce travel time, provide a smoother flight experience, and offer passengers greater comfort quickly garnered attention and excitement within the aviation community and the traveling public. The Comet One was initially regarded as a technological marvel and a symbol of post-war British achievement, ushering in what became known as the jet age. For a few years, the Comet seemed poised to revolutionize air travel. Its performance and efficiency were unmatched by any competitor, and it was initially seen as the cutting-edge solution for commercial airlines seeking to modernize their fleets. Airlines around the world began to place orders for the Comet, and the aircraft's future seemed secure. In 1953, de Havilland began work on an improved version, the Comet 4, which offered longer range and better passenger amenities. However, the Comet's path to success was marred by a series of devastating crashes that would eventually overshadow its early promise. The first signs of trouble emerged in 1953, when a BOAC Comet crashed on a flight from Rome to London, killing all 29 people on board. Initially, the cause of the crash was unclear, but suspicions began to arise regarding the aircraft's structural integrity. In 1954, a second fatal crash occurred, this time involving a Comet operated by Canadian Pacific Airlines. Following an investigation, it was determined that the crashes were caused by metal fatigue and the design of the Comet's square-shaped windows, which created high stress points that contributed to catastrophic structural failures at high altitudes. The high-speed pressurized flights subjected the fuselage to repeated stress, causing cracks to form around the windows. When these cracks went unnoticed, they led to explosive decompression, breaking apart the fuselage mid-flight. These findings led to a halt in Comet operations and an intense investigation by de Havilland and aviation authorities. In total, three Comet 1s were lost in crashes between 1952 and 1954, resulting in the deaths of 112 people. This series of disasters led to a complete redesign of the aircraft's structure, with engineers replacing the square windows with rounded ones, which helped eliminate the stress concentrations that had contributed to the crashes, which subsequently resulted in the use of more robust materials and adding more reinforcements to the fuselage. Despite the initial setbacks, de Havilland continued to improve the Comet design, and by the mid-1950s, the Comet 4 was introduced. This newer model addressed many of the structural issues that had plagued the earlier versions. The Comet 4 featured a larger fuselage, increased range, and improved engines, allowing it to compete with newer American jetliners like the Boeing 707 and Douglas DC-8. It was also the first commercial airliner capable of flying non-stop between London and New York. In fact, the Comet 4 became a significant part of the growing transatlantic air traffic routes, offering faster and more comfortable travel compared to propeller-driven aircraft. 
However, by the early 1960s, it became clear that American aircraft manufacturers had surpassed de Havilland in terms of performance and production capabilities. The Boeing 707 and Douglas DC-8 quickly dominated the market, offering greater capacity and lower operating costs. Although the de Havilland Comet was ultimately phased out of commercial service by the early 1970s, its legacy cannot be overstated. The aircraft played a critical role in transitioning air travel from propeller-driven planes to the age of jet-powered flight. The lessons learned from the Comet's early design flaws were instrumental in improving the safety and reliability of future jetliners, setting the foundation for later developments in aircraft design and manufacturing. Key elements of the Comet's legacy include The Jet Age The Comet's introduction helped launch the era of commercial jets, which dramatically reduced the time it took to travel long distances and made air travel more accessible to the masses. Aircraft Safety The investigation into the crashes, particularly the understanding of metal fatigue and structural integrity, played a significant role in developing modern safety standards and materials for commercial aviation. Aircraft Design the Comet's early use of pressurized cabins, jet engines, and streamlined fuselages influenced the design of future commercial airliners, including the Boeing 707, which was heavily inspired by the Comet's basic concepts. The de Havilland Comet was a revolutionary aircraft that had both triumphs and tragedies throughout its career. Although its early crashes temporarily derailed its commercial success, the lessons learned from its design flaws and operational issues helped shape the future of civil aviation. The Comet was the pioneer of commercial jet flight, and its legacy continues to echo in the design of modern airliners. While it never achieved the same commercial success as its American counterparts, the de Havilland Comet remains a symbol of innovation, ambition, and the remarkable advances in aviation technology that define the mid-20th century. Brought to you by Untold Facts from Morali Edutech. Thanks for viewing this presentation. Request you to share and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more informative videos.